All right. Today, we are going to open up our new, our Star Wars Chewbacca Chia Pet. And then I'm going to check in on the growth of it a week from now and two weeks from now. So today is the 13th. So we're going to check on its growth on the 20th, and we're going to check on its growth again on the 27th. And we're going to see if Chewy is really fluffy like the picture in two weeks from now. So I don't know what all is in the box. But the, the steps here, it looks like you only water it once. I mean, it doesn't say how many times to actually water it. just says step one. Soak clay and water for half an hour. Step two, add chia seeds to your chia pet clay. And step three, water it. Step four, watch it grow. So let's open it up and see what's inside it. These are chia seeds. All right, so here's more um, detailed instructions. Okay, so submerge your chia planter in water and soak for 30 minutes. In a separate bowl or cup, mix two tablespoons of chia seeds with one fourth cup of water. Stir thoroughly and let the mixture sit for 10 minutes. The mixture should form a thick gel-like paste which will help the seeds adhere to your chia planter. Helpful tips. If the seeds are sliding off your chia planter when you apply them, add a small amount of seeds, about half a teaspoon, to the mixture. Stir and let it sit for at least another 10 minutes. If you find that you did not add enough water or too many seeds, add a bit more water. Stir and check mixture in 10 minutes. So empty the water from your planter and place it it on the drip tray provided. Spread a thin, even layer of seeds on the grooved surface of your planter using a small spreader or a teaspoon or your fingers. Don't let the seeds clump in any one in any one area. Depending on the surface of your planter, you may not use all of the seed mixture. Leave the planter in the drip tray for two days. Don't worry, if the chia seeds are looking dry, they will start to sprout once you add water. That's day one. This is day three. This is after letting the seeds adhere to your planter for two days, fill your chia planter with water. Keep your planter filled with fresh water and empty the drip tray daily. Okay, tip. Place a plastic bag Add plastic loosely over the chia planter for a few days until the seeds sprout and mist your planter daily to moisten the seeds. Enjoy your chia pet for two to four weeks. When the growth appears laggy or overgrown, it is time to remove the old growth. Chia planters should be washed and can be replanted immediately. If you have questions, email us at customer service at jeiusa.com. So I'm guessing that eventually you're gonna have, you would have to buy more seed packets. Let's see what else we have in here. This is our trip tray. And this is our our clay planter. Okay. Oh, I see. The hole in the top is to pour the water in it. Okay. Okay, so I 
wasn't too hard to open. So I'm done with that box. So our first step would be to soak this. So I'm gonna go get a ball. Okay. So we've let our chia pet soak for 30 minutes. As you can tell, it's it's wet. So, so to put it in the dip tray, I've made up my mixture. So now it says to put Oh, it did become like a paste. Okay. Now it says to put it all around the, um, all around the chia bed. Okay. So it said that if it comes to liquidy, then to put more seeds in it. Or if it comes not liquidy enough to add more water. I think maybe I drain off some of this water. And I pull it out. to avoid his eyes with the seeds so that I don't get it like I want the seeds like poking my head. So I use the two um, table spoons um, of seed and then the one fourth a cup of water and the instruction said and I soak the planter for 30 minutes. I mean, it feels pasty, unless that's not pasty enough, I don't know, I don't know why I just wanted to like slip down. I feel like the seeds are sticking more to my hand than the actual plant.
you're supposed to like hold it on the geopet. I don't know. <laughs> to get it to like stay until it like sticks. I'm going to try spraying the top of it with my instructions just to see if maybe like spraying it, like getting the pot of water would help it stick better.
did make the seeds did make a paste first get it they only give you enough for three plantings anyways so I'm assuming it's an expensive seed to buy the buy a replacement also trying not to get any seeds in like where Shumi's eyes are because I, I kind of like I still want to see Shumi's face you know because I think the idea is that this is supposed to be his fur right that the uh, that the Feels pretty basic to me. Seed sticks. 
even though it doesn't say that on the directions. Maybe the clay wasn't one enough. Yes, these are very, very messy. I highly recommend just like putting down some newspaper or some like old catalog or something, some old towels. Just putting something down. Right now I have old newspaper. All right, guys. I um, I was afraid to move it too much, but I spread the seeds as evenly as I could. Um, <laughs> I tried my best. The seeds that I had. I don't know if I just didn't let them sit long enough, or. Because they felt pasty. The seeds didn't feel liquidy, and some of them are sticky. And just some of them are going down to the, to the bottom. Anyways, so those are our seeds. Um, some of them are still swooping, <laughs> uh, swooping down to the Like evenly 
that's where all the seeds kind of seem like they want to go. The seed of the seed near the top so that they're not all near the bottom. Alright, so I think that's about the best So now, they use the 13, so it says you leave it alone for two days, it's the next step in the instructions. So I will be back here on the 15th to water it because I guess that's the first day that you water is the 15th and you will water it every other day or every day. It doesn't really say, it just says, it says leave it for two days after you put the seeds on the pet. So <laughs> I have attempted to get as many seeds as I can. But I just put up my rag. So glad I put. So glad I put on newspaper. All right, we are back, and it is the fifteenth. So our Chewbacca has been for two days sitting in the tray and as you can see the seeds have adhered to it now and um, I found that using a spoon actually worked better to spread it so a bunch of the seeds that had like fallen in here I had way more than this I took a spoon and kind of um, I kind of just scooped them out and them. Put them on there. So now it says to pour water into. It says to pour water into the in the hole in the top. So it didn't come with a funnel, but I'm gonna use a funnel anyways because I don't want to make a mess. I don't know if it's going to take all of this cup. And this is just a 7-Eleven plastic cup that we just washed out and decided to reuse.
corrected. It took the whole, what is this, a 20 ounce? This is a 20 ounce. Okay. And then it says you can spray it for a few days. You can just like spray it. seven days from now so a week from now we'll check it on the 20th and we'll see um what our growth looks like if it's showing any growth um we'll take a look at it all right so here's our chewbacca after one week as you can see we have a little bit of growth and this is kind of where i've been keeping them just right here I did go back in and take out some of the seeds that have fallen out into the drip tray. I've been catching them up with a strainer and I've been using the plastic spoon, the spoon right here, to kind of like put them back onto the Chewbacca because I have noticed that some of them have been kind of like the first couple of days, some of them really were still like slipping down the sides. But now it seems like they're finally staying on the pet. So we will check back on our Chia pet in another week from today. So that will be the 27th and we'll see how much growth we have then. So I will see you guys back here on the 27th. All right. So this is our Chewbacca on the 27th. Um, he did not turn out the way I had hoped, but I feel that that's mostly my fault. I have, um, I have had um, a couple deaths in the family this month, and the one that happened on Wednesday, on actually on the 20th was especially rough for me. So I've been busy getting things ready for the funeral and attending family gatherings and things. So I completely forgot about Chewbacca. I, uh, I think I may have only watered him once since the, the, the 20th. Uh, yeah, he, he's not. He, yeah, he looks like a sad, deserted, lonely Wookiee, so I'm going to have to do this um, experiment again and a another month when I don't have so much going on and stuff and where I will actually remember to watch her the Chewbacca, because the first week of growth, which was from the 13th to the 20th, I remembered to water Chewbacca. 
but from the 20th to the 27th, I did not remember to water Chewbacca every day. So he didn't get as much attention as he needed. So normally on these things, I would say, you know, what I liked, what I didn't like, if I would recommend or not. Um, so I guess I'm going to go through that really quick. I did like that um, the design of it and where the water pours into, you know, well, maybe not necessarily the hole. The hole, I feel like, could be maybe just a smidge bigger so I wouldn't have to use a funnel. Because that was like one of the things that didn't come with the Chewbacca. And I also had to use like a spoon to get the Chewbacca seeds onto there. I found that that worked better than using your hands. That using your hands, um, using your hands, it tended to get all over my hands and stick to my hands. So I didn't like that. But I had a rag. I had newspaper down, obviously. Um... I feel like it could come with at least a couple tools, maybe, because, like, in case people didn't necessarily have, like, something to spread the seeds on with, and then maybe the drip tray. I mean, I guess I wouldn't expect it to come with a funnel, because I know those can be, I guess those can be kind of pricey to mass print, but maybe at least, like, something, even if it was just, like, a popsicle-looking, like, tight stick thing, if they had just something to spread the seeds on and then the seed the one seed packet and then the drip tray and the the um Chewbacca. And then I used a strainer too because I I had that problem near the beginning where the seeds started dripping like coming down it when I first did it, even though I was following the instructions. So I don't know if because I soaked the planter for 30 minutes, like it said. I don't know if maybe I was supposed to let the planter dry completely first and then put the seeds on. Like, it doesn't... The instructions don't say. They just say soak for at least 30 minutes and then mix up your seed mixture and then apply it to the planter. And another thing I'll mention that I didn't like was with the instructions... Uh, it doesn't state, like, how much sunlight, you know, like, when you buy plants at, like, the Walmart, like, it'll tell you, you know, like, you put in indirect sunlight or put in direct sunlight or, you know, etc., etc. There was, like, no, like, light instructions. So, I assumed that uh, Chewbacca didn't need any direct sunlight. So, I just kept him here next to a little lamp. Um, just a regular, just a regular, uh, just a regular lamp. It's not like a special lamp that's made to help plants grow or anything like that. It's just a regular lamp. So I left them next to this lamp. Just a regular, I guess, floor lamp. And then I was watering every day. And he seemed to be fine for the first week, and then, like I said, the second week I completely forgot. And I am sorry about that, guys. I, uh, I let my project go, and Chewbacca ended up looking sad. What else did I like or dislike? Let's see. Um, I don't know, I felt like a lot of seeds were wasted, so I kind of didn't like that. But they do give you more seeds than what you need, so I guess that kind of makes up for it. Another thing I would add is it would be nice if they made the seed bag, like, resillable. Because as you can see, like, right now I just have it, like, rubber banded at, at the middle there. Just folded up and rubber banded. Um, that would be kind of nice as an improvement, you know, like a resillable paper seed bag it would also would have been nice if they had included you know where to get more seeds because they have a website there I'm, I'm assuming I'm guessing that's where you go and buy more seeds but um but it doesn't but it doesn't like say that's where you buy them I'm just assuming and I'm also hoping that they're not too super expensive because the planter itself was like $20 for 
for the planter to get the planter pl and that just came with the drip tray and the bag of seeds um i know it's star wars so i don't know if the star wars one is like a little more expensive or if it's just like that's just how much the chia pet is it's twenty dollars for the chia pet i i don't know but yeah i guess the only thing i really liked about it was the the design of the like the actual chewbacca looks amazing like the clay figure like i could see somebody keeping this just for like the artwork of the clay figure even if they never actually planted the, any uh, seeds on it but I'm assuming that you have to use the chia seeds on the chia planter I don't know if you can just put like random seeds on it and they'll grow maybe I'll experiment around with that in the future and see if maybe we can just like go to a Walmart and just buy some like maybe just some regular like grass seeds or something and just like spread them on there see if uh, see if they grow um, that may not be a bad idea to try. Well, guys, until next time, that is all for now.